हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास टुडे विल बी डूइंग अ लेसन फ्रॉम योर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर टेक्स्ट बुक लेसन नंबर फोर बॉय स्काउट्स फॉर एवर रिटन बाय रास्किन बॉन्ड आई थिंक यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड द नेम स्काउट्स चिल्ड्रेन वी टू हैव इन आर स्कूल स्काउट्स एंड गाइड्स ओके सो दिस वर्ड स्काउट इज फेमिलियर टू यू बिफोर the lesson let me tell you what do you mean by the word scouts okay scouts is a fun with a purpose directing helping boys and girls to become happy and healthy scouting complements the school education and family scouting develops self confidence and the need to explore to discover the world beyond the classrooms and scouting also means building confidence and self esteem within learning important skills learning leadership skills and even team building outdoor adventures education and lot of fun so this is going to be a very interesting and an adventurous lesson so get ready for the lesson boy scouts forever so this lesson let's divide this lesson into two parts let's begin with the first part okay i was a boy scout once although i couldn't tell a slip knot from a granny knot or a reef knot from a thief knot actually this is a lesson about scouts written by ruskin bond it is the story of the author the writer is a bit confused here because in scouts they teach about the knots okay so the author was a bit confused and he couldn't tell a slip knot from a granny knot or a reef knot from a thief knot except that a thief knot was supposed to be to tie up a thief should you happen to catch one so here the author is a bit confused about the knots so he is ane he could not tell a slip knot from a granny knot or a reef knot now let's learn about how to tie different types of knots okay let's do one activity also here children and you don't be confused about the knots so there are different types of knots a granny knot a reef knot a thief knot and a slip knot okay so these are the four types of knots now see this activity over here this is a granny knot
Now you must have got an idea about the different kinds of knots. Is it clear? So now you should also try this activity at home by taking two thick strings and do this activity and learn how to make different types of knots. Hope you have learnt about the knots. Okay, now let's go back to the lesson now. So over here, the narrator says this to confess that though he was a boy scout once, he was not a very good one because he was woefully underprepared to be one as he could not even distinguish between different kinds of knots. Okay, something that the boy scouts were supposed to be able to do it quite easily but the author was finding it difficult. Next, be prepared. That's the boy scout motto and a good one too. But I never seem to be well prepared for anything. Be it an exam or a journey or the roof blowing of my room. Okay, what is the author telling over here? The author said that I have never been caught a thief and wouldn't know what to do with one since I can't tie a knot. So the author was not in a position to tie the knot. Okay and after that uh, what was the boy scout motto? Be prepared. It was a boy scout motto and a good one too. But the author never seemed to be well prepared for anything either for an exam or to go for a journey or the roof blowing of his room. He was never ready for anything and the author he would get, he would get halfway through a speech and then forget what I have to say the next. So when he was supposed to speak something he would tell a bit and again he would forget and he would stop or I make a new suit to attend a friend's wedding and then turn up in my pyjamas so what he would do whenever he would try to uh, go to attend a friend's wedding he would forget that to wear the dress and he would turn up in his pyjamas Okay, so he wishes to show us that he was never well prepared for anything. He in the sense who it is the author. So how did I, the most impractical of boys, become a boy scout? I was at boarding school in Shimla when it happened. So when this incident took place, where was the author? He was at a boarding school. Where is this boarding school? It is in Shimla. Is it clear? So, okay. Well, it seems a rumor had gone around the junior school. I was still a junior then that I was a good cook. I in the sense, children, it is the author. So, it, it was a rumor that went around the junior school. What was the rumor? It was that the author was a good cook. I had never cooked anything in my life. This says, the author says that he never cooked in his life. But of course, I had spent a lot of time in the tuck shop. The author says he never cooked, but he spent a lot of time in a tuck shop. Now listen children, here is a new word. What do you mean by the word tuck shop? Tuck shop is a shop that sells snacks, isn't it? You Even you people are also fond of going to the shops, isn't it? You purchase your chips, your snacks and all that, isn't it? So that's a tuck shop is a shop where you find snacks. Okay, he would spend a lot of time in the tuck shop making suggestions and advising Chippu. Who is Chippu over here? Chippu is the owner of the tuck shop. Okay, so he would make suggestions and advise Chippu who ran the tuck shop and encouraging him to make more and more better samosas. So he would tell them, he would advise them to prepare better samosas, jalebis and pakodas. For my unwanted advice, he would favor me with an occasional free samosa. So I naturally looked upon him as a friend and a benefactor. With this qualification, I was given a cookery badge and put in charge of our troops supply of rations so he would go daily to the tuck shop he would sit over there and he would give him unwanted advice and he would favor him with a free samosa who would favor him that is the owner of the tuck shop 
Chippu would give him one samosa freely. And he started looking him as a friend and benefactor. Look at over here. What do we mean by the word benefactor? Benefactor means a person who helps another person or group with money or other things. Okay. So over here, the author was going to the tuck shop and the owner of the shop, Chippu, became his friend and he would always favor him. Okay. So what happened? Then he started looking him as a friend and a benefactor. With this qualification, I was given a cookery badge. I in the sense who the author. He was given a cookery badge and put up in charge of our troop supply of rations. Okay. So next paragraph. There were about 20 of us in our troop. And during the summer break, our scoutmaster, Mr. Oliver, took us on the camping expedition to Tara Devi, a temple crowned mountain, a files outside the Shimla. So, how many members were there in their group, in, in, their, in the author's troop? There were 20. That is, 20 scouts boys, they were all, they made a group and they went on to a summer break. That is, during their summer break, along with their scoutmaster. Who was their scoutmaster? Mr. Oliver was their scoutmaster. So, all these 20 students, they went headed by their scoutmaster, Mr. Oliver. So, where did Mr. Oliver took them? Mr. Oliver took them on a camping expedition to a temple. What is the name of the temple? Tara Devi. A temple crowned mountain, a file a few miles outside Shimla. So, where was the temple? The temple was outside Shimla. How did the temple look like? The temple looked like a crown. So, they all planned to go to the temple. That first night, we were put to work peeling potatoes, skinning onions, shelling peas and pounding masalas. So, what was the work given to them? The first night, they had to peel potatoes. Peeling potatoes means to remove the skin of the potatoes and they had to skinning onions to remove the skin of the onions and cut them. Shelling peas, matlab matar chilna. Okay. And then pounding masalas is to prepare masalas. These various Ingredients being ready. Ingredients means what? The things that are necessary to prepare a dish. And I was asked as a troops cookery export, what should be then with them? So, who was the head of this uh, cookery expert? It was our author. And then, putting everything in a big dekchi. What do you mean by a big dekchi, children? It is a, a, a big well, vessel with a wide mouth. So they all put all these things and they pour half a tin of ghee over a lot and some needle leaves and cook for half an hour. When this was done, everyone had a taste, but the general opinion was that the dish lacked something. Lacked something means what? Something was less. More salt I suggested. More salt was added. It still lacked something. Lacked something ka matlab hai aur kuch kam tha. And then what did they do? The author ordered them to add a cup of sugar. Sugar was added to the con concoction. But still it lacked something. We forgot to add tomatoes. Said Bimal, one of the scouts. So what was lacking over here? They forgot to add even tomatoes. Who said that we have to add tomatoes? It was Bimal. Turn the page now. Never mind. I said we had tomato sauce and a bottle of tomato sauce. Who said never mind? The author said never mind. How about some vinegar? Asked another boy. Another boy asked why don't we add some vinegar also? Just the thing I said, a cup of vinegar. Then they added even a cup of vinegar also. Now, it's too sore, said one of the tasters. So, amongst those, the boys who were tasting this dish, he said that it was too sore. Okay, then, what jam did we bring, I asked. As somebody said that it was too sore, then what did the author say? The author asked, what jam did we bring? 
Then they said, gooseberry jam. So just the thing, empty the bottle. So when the author asked what was the jam they were having, they said gooseberry jam. And he said, you bring that. And they added even the full, they emptied the bottle means what? The whole thing was added into the dish. The dish was a great success. Everyone enjoyed it, including Mr. Oliver, who had no idea what went into it. Who was the scoutmaster? Mr. Oliver. What's this called? He asked. Who asked Mr. Oliver? That is the scoutmaster asked them. What's this called? It's an all India sweet and sour jam potato curry. Listen the name of the curry children. Isn't it interesting? He said it's an all India sweet and sour jam potato curry. I ventured. Ventured means what? To say something in a careful way to avoid offending anyone for short just called it bond bhuji so said bimal what did bimal say instead of telling us such a big name it's an all india sweet and sour jam potato curry what did bimal say bimal said bond bhuji i earned my cookery badge I in the sense who is over here? The author. So what did the author earn? He earned a cookery badge. Why? Because they have prepared such a big dish. And what was the name of the dish? It's an all India sweet and sour jam potato curry. So after this, he got a badge. What badge did he get? He got a cookery badge. Is it clear children? So with this, I... Complete the first part. Now the second part will be doing it in the next video.